Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to introduce the tool chain that supports us in programming big microcontrollers and the corresponding hardware simulation. Microcontroller used is the recommended for automotive design PIC 16F877A, is useful as a reference device because it has a minimal instruction set, but a full range of peripheral features. The most significant variation among PIC chips is the instruction size, which can be 12, 14, or 16 bits. Microchip Technology is a manufacturer of PIC microcontrollers and associated products. The company website contains details of all microchip hardware, software, and development systems. The data sheet for the PIC 16F877A microcontroller should also be downloaded as a reference source. MPLAB IDE, Integrated Development System, must be downloaded and installed to develop the applications using the tools described in this tutorials. MPLAB XIDE brings a host of features to help you quickly debug your projects and minimize your development time. MPLAB IDE includes an editor and a simulator and interfaces with many compilers, including the CCS compiler used in this tutorial. Absenter Electronics is the developer of Protoss VSM, Virtual System Modeling, the most advanced co-simulation system for embedded applications. Student Evaluation version of the simulation software may be downloaded from this website. Protoss VSM is the world's most advanced embedded simulation tool, providing system-level simulation of complete products directly on the schematic. The support for the microchip technology range of PIC microcontrollers is extensive, with well over 300 variants included across six families. Uniquely, the Protoss simulation engine can be slaved to the microchip MP Lab XIDE or the microchip compilers can be automatically configured by the free VSM Studio IDE. Either way, Protoss VSM represents the most complete PIC simulation environment on the market. Now, how to slave the Protoss microchip simulation software to the MP Lab XIDE, so that the simulated hardware in the schematic capture, can be debugged inside MP Lab X. The first step is to install VSM Viewer in MP Lab XIDE. Open Plugins window by selecting Tools Plugins from the menu bar. Then click on Available Plugins. Then you will see the Protoss VSM Viewer from the list under MP Lab DB Core category. If Protoss VSM Viewer is not listed on the list, just press on Reload Catalog button to reload the list. Then click on Install to install the plug into IDE. The Install Wizard will guide you to install it successfully. Also, you can update or remove your existing Plugins from this window. Step 2. Create your project from MP Lab X and select Protoss VSM Viewer as debugging tool when it asked. Step 3 Now you can code your project and compile your project. Note, in the source code, a statement hash includes 16F877A.h. This defines the specific chip, for which the program is created and refers to a header file, supplied with the compiler. This file must be included because it holds information about the chip register addresses, labeling, and so on, it can be viewed in any text editor. The file should be copied from the devices folder in the CCSC program file folder, set into the project folder. It can then be attached to this project by right-clicking on the header files folder. We are now ready to compile the program by clicking on the Compile button in the MPLAB main toolbar. The compiler execution dialog briefly appears and, ideally, a build succeeded message is displayed. Step 4. Create the design file for your project from the Protoss VSM and select the cof file which is located at backslash dist backslash default backslash production folder as the program file for your MICA controller and Protoss VSM design. Then save the design in your project folder. Step 5. Now we should add our design file to MP Labx project. Go to Project Properties window and click on Protoss VSM Viewer Category under Config, Default, Category, 
Then select your design file from design file name, and press on apply. You can let other configurations as it is under default environment. Finally you can set breakpoints in your source code, and debug your project. Then MPLabX will automatically run the Protoist design simultaneously with your code. Although small, microcontrollers are complex, and we have to look carefully at the way the hardware and firmware, control program, work together to understand the processes at work. This tutorial will then show how to connect the popular pick range of microcontrollers to the outside world and put them to work. To keep things simple, we will concentrate on one device, the pic 16 f 877 a which has a good range of features, that allows most of the essential techniques to be explained. It has a set of serial ports built in that, are used to transfer data to and from other devices, as well as analog inputs, which allow measurement of inputs such as temperature. All microcontrollers work in a similar way, so analysis of the PIC MCU will go a long way to understanding all such devices. The PIC 16F877A microcontroller is used as the reference device in this tutorial, as it contains a full range of peripherals and a reasonable memory capacity. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like the video, if you like it, and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date.